Hey folks, welcome back. Well, usually when you have one of these uh, older body style uh, pickups in here, this is a, a 1997 F350, it's a cabin chassis, two wheel drive with a 351. And um, usually the slave cylinders on these things, um, according to my experience with mostly with the power strokes and stuff are, are fairly easy to replace. And they're usually located right about in here. You can see this one doesn't have it out here, but it's got an internal just like the Rangers. With a bleed deal right there, and bleed deal right there. So I thought I'd just bring you along uh, doing the highlight points of uh, replacing this particular, uh, well, we're gonna do the whole clutch. Um, this one there, the pedals, you know, doesn't do anything, it's stuck down on the floor. So it's either a bad, slight cylinder or most likely probably fingers broken on the clutch or something or other but yeah I'll just bring you along for that and um, we'll get this thing uh, first we'll get this line uh, I'll show you how to disconnect it and we we might be able to do it or I'm not gonna spend too much time on it but since we're replacing it you can just take a deal here you know something and just cut the line you know because we're we're gonna replace it it's got a kit and everything. Um, here's your actual uh, slave cylinder. They're called a centric style or whatever, you know, but the bummer thing is, is it goes, the transmission uh, input shaft goes through the middle of it, so you have to remove the transmission to uh, replace this particular style. Um, this all comes as a kit. Here's the uh, master cylinder. And then um, just has a line here somewhere. There's the other end of it, but it's just it's just snaps in place. Here's the other side of it right here. Um, but anyways, that's that. Okay, so I was gonna use uh, one of these things possibly um, to do the clip on that thing, but the inside the kit they provided this and that's what this should be for um yeah i don't know how well this is going to show up but somehow or another you got to get that white part and get it shoved you know in side there i don't think i'm going to spend too much time with figuring out how to do this but this tool is not really going to fit over that oh there it goes it pushed in a little bit I don't know if you're able to see that. I doubt it. Disappeared. It went in a little bit. Sorry, folks. Pushed it in a little bit. Trying to get that just around there and just kind of push and work it. Um, let me see if I can get a screwdriver and accomplish the same thing. Well, I'm going to take the screwdriver and just kind of push in here. Alright, so what I did do, I did get it out. What you're really trying to accomplish with the tool or a screwdriver, I did it with the screwdriver. Get it around here and push this uh, deal in like that. And once it's in there like that, it'll spread apart the uh, barbs that are in there. But, you know, like I said, you can uh, just uh, snip this line off, you know, because if we're, you know, we're replacing both the clutch and the slave cylinder, obviously you, you can replace the slave cylinder and you know you should just get a whole new line get it as a kit if we're replacing just the clutch i would still replace the slave cylinder no matter what so just snip the line if that's that's probably easier okay so now we got to get the transmission out um that's pretty straightforward i'm just going to go ahead and take these little bolts off here there should be like a plate or something like that get that out of the way then we're gonna get the starter pulled off and then um, drive shaft obviously get the transmission jack and then um, get this rear cross member 
out from removing these bolts here on that side and these here and then uh the shifter up in there and uh you know and then you got your through bolts here i don't know how many um yeah it's pretty, pretty straightforward there i'm not going to film any of that so when we get this thing out then i'll uh we'll be back with um slave cylinder so cause that's the only thing special about this particular setup that I've not seen on these larger pickups, but here it is. Well, folks, here it is. Um, pretty straightforward how this comes out. Looks like we got two, uh, looks like a 10 millimeter. Should be a three eighths though. It's probably a three eighths. It's a little loose. Pull that thing out. That's all of it, throw out bearing included. Take your new unit, slide it back into place. Gonna have to figure out how to get those past the where they go. All right, this is a lot of times where it sucks sometimes with aftermarket parts. This came from O'Reilly's. You can see that just will not clear right here whereas the old one does slipped right past so the workaround is you got to pull this roll pin pound it out and then and that piece comes out there then we can stick this on in place get our bolts started okay and then we'll slide this back in just like that and then we'll uh and we'll drive the roll pin back in <clears throat> and just like that so Sucks to have to do that, but that was the only way I saw how to make this work. All right, well, so basically now we just got to stick the transmission back in there, and then um, we're going to replace uh, the uh, master cylinder right here, which is, you know... Pretty straightforward as far as that goes. That's it right up in there. Follow the line there. They're not too bad to change. I usually start with it up, up top and drop it down. And, um, you know, then you got like a clip right here where this will come out. See, like that, but it's pretty easy to do. And then bleeding. Um, you just pull this little cap off of here rubber cap and that looks like a 5 16 or 8 millimeter loosen that up fill your uh, top reservoir up there leave the cap off and just I don't know I usually just get it you know with this deal the way it's designed it's not like the you know there's the one spot right here it could catch some air or whatever but um, the old Ford's the late 80s early 90s and stuff that have the external slave cylinder out here um those were kind of a pain to bleed out um but they didn't have a bleeder if i recall correctly not like this does so this should actually be pretty easy and just do it just pretty much like you do brakes um pretty self-explanatory there so anyways this is just like the <clears throat> ford rangers and stuff from the at least a few from the 90s that I've done. Um, this is pretty much exact same design. So it's uh, other than having to take the transmission out, kind of sucks. But um, other than that, it ain't too bad once you got the tranny out. So hopefully this uh, helps you out. And thanks for watching.